And turning for a moment to the morning's other big stories, the hostage crisis in Algeria is over, but the death toll is now more than 80, and dozens are missing. Mark Phillips is in London. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Charlie, well, the numbers themselves, big as they are, are still changing and don't tell the full story. The dead hostages identified so far from six countries, including one from the United States, six from the Philippines, three so far from Britain, with three more feared among the missing. In Japan and Norway, they're expecting further bad news as well. It had been a major battle along the new front in the war against Islamist terrorism. The Algerians had had to launch two assaults to finally subdue a large, and by the look of the weapons displayed afterward, a well-equipped group of kidnappers. In the end, the Algerians said they had to move in because they feared the attackers were going to blow up the gas facility and the rest of the hostages they were holding. The nationalities of some of the dead are still to be confirmed the bodies too mutilated to be identified. And those who survived have been speaking of the hell they had lived through. Alan Wright from Scotland had been hiding in an office and managed to get a satellite phone call out to his family. But what do you tell them? I thought, I don't want my last ever words to be in a, a crackly satellite phone telling a lie, you know, saying that you're OK when you're far from OK. Wright managed to get away with a group of Algerian hostages, but it wasn't an easy decision. When you don't know what's out there, uh, and you, we know that the terrorists are dressed the same as the security forces, it was a, a, a huge decision. Do you, do you stay or do you go? The kidnappers, who had identified themselves as the Masked Brigade on a website, said they were retaliating for the French-led counter-terrorism action taking place in next-door Mali, and they have vowed further attacks. The equipment, the uniforms, the fact the Algerians say the kidnappers had maps of the facility and possibly had planted people on the inside as employees, these are all signs the Islamist militants in North Africa are organized and resourceful. The French intervention in Mali may have been given as the motivation for the attack, but there are indications it had been planned for some time and that this attack will not be the last.